the road for gospel music today. We are way out on the road, and uh, we have a friend with us, Ron Blackwood. Ron, welcome to Gospel Music Well, today. it's glad to be here, and what an honor. I'm going to ask you to introduce this person. Well, this is my bride, Shelley Lane Blackwood, and she was with the Blackwood Singers for many years. Her and Donna and me and R.W. had Pigeon Forge at the Blackwood Breakfast Show, and uh, she's been a blessing to me for many, many years, and now she's uh, retired a little bit from the music part, but she is uh, at Hillcrest Baptist Baylor uh, uh, Hospital in Waco. She is a teacher's nursing student at uh, Mary Hardin Baylor University. We want to ask you about the, uh, the Blackwood family because 2014 is a pretty important year. So we have four brothers who went from lives as sharecroppers to figures on a national level that we can't imagine today in the world of gospel music. The four brothers now, actual Blackwood brothers. Well, it started with uh, my granddaddy, Roy Blackwood. And then, of course, there was my uncle, James Blackwood. And then uh, there was uh, my dad, and which was my brother, R.W. Jr., my dad, R.W. Blackwood, who was R.W. Sr. And then there was um, uh, Doyle Blackwood, which is uh, Terry and Kay Blackwood's daddy. and. Uh, Four young boys, basically young men, that were sharecroppers. And they started out and they went on to fame and fortune, even though that was not what they were seeking. They were men of God. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and as we mentioned, they were the first to ever be on national television. And Ken, I remember as a little boy when they came home, they were like rock stars. Uh, and uh, they were on Arthur Godfrey's show, which was... But to give it people today to understand how big it was, it was as like as big as the American Idol or The Voice or America's Got Talent. It was huge, and uh, it opened the door for gospel music. and uh, And uh, the Blackwoods were on RCA Victor for 20 years, and of course, uh, God opened many, many great doors. And of course, then the tragedy. Yeah. Tell me about the uh, plane crash. That was almost the end of the the Blackwood brothers. Well. Uh, I'll, I was at home on a Wednesday night and my pastor, James Hamill at First Assembly of God came to our door and me and R.W. ran to the door, my brother named Winston, and he asked him, what was he doing here? Oh, he's supposed to be at church, you know, and we're, on, we're getting ready to go to church. I said, I need to talk to you. And mother come running to the door and mother knew. She said, it's R.W., isn't it? It's R.W. And of course, we went to pieces because he said, R.W., your daddy won't be coming home no more. He's He's gone. And uh, it was something that I never got over. In fact, till this day, I have moments that I can hardly stand yeah. it. You were how old at that point? I was 13. And he was my hero. In fact, I was supposed to have been in the plane with him. I was supposed to go on that trip with him. And he told me, and I'd been going with him. And he said, no, you can't go on this trip. There have been some planes of this nature overheating the engines. And uh, there's a lot to that. There's more story to that. But... Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, all I know is that it's taken me most of my life to get over the anger. Yeah, yeah. Now, the Blackwood Brothers, of course, uh, continued, and uh, still there's a Blackwood Brothers quartet today with Billy Blackwood. Oh, yeah, Billy, and, and he's got a great group, and uh, we're mm. very close. Now, who are the other, the other family members? The Blackwood family well, is still on the road in you know, a lot of different forms. There's a lot of people carrying on the gospel with the Blackwoods, and the ones that... that really our, our family, which we sanction, is Mark Blackwood and the Blackwood Quartet doing a great job, Billy Blackwood, my cousin I love, uh, Jimmy retired, and, he's, and then uh, my cousin Terry Blackwood with the Imperials, and then my brother, R.W. and Donna. Uh, Shelley and I were for many, many years in Pigeon Forge. We started the theater there, and then we brought them from Branson over, and God just blessed us, and it's become one of the top shows in the Smoky Mountains. And mm -hmm. R.W. and Donna, I kind of retired and moved to Texas, and Shelly is uh, at Hillcrest Hospital here and, and doing wonderful as a nurse, but she also teaches nurses at Mary Harden Baylor. And she also tries to teach me, too. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have a big event coming up in memory of that plane crash. Very excited. This year is the 80 years of ministry singing gospel music by the Blackwood family. And uh, 
the, this is our, called our Diamond Jubilee Tour. And it's going to be in uh, Troy, Alabama at, I uh, hope I got this right, Pleasant Grove United Methodist Church. Is that right, Shelley Blackwood? Memorial. Memorial. Okay, <laughs> I got Pleasant Memorial United Methodist Church. Okay. And that's June 27th okay. on a Thursday. And if I'm not right, you can go to my website, blackwoodartist.com. Okay. And that will magically appear right <laughs> below right. us on, on the screen. Ooh, anyway. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Ron, because you've been involved in, in gospel music all your life, and you've seen pretty much everything from every point of view. After 10,000 concerts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you, you must think about this once in a while. What, what do you think is is next? What, what's coming next for gospel music? I'm encouraged at the same time I'm concerned both ways. And you know I've always been known to be pretty blunt and sometimes that got me in trouble. But uh, there's a lot of great people out there carrying on gospel music. And um, I'm the least in the kingdom. I made a lot of mistakes. There's no secret about it. Uh, but I can tell you that I feel the young people coming up with gospel music now, if they'll remember what their purpose is, that's the main thing, the purpose. And uh, a lot of people got to realize uh, they want to sing, but is it really a calling from God? There's a lot of people who want to sing because I want to be, a, I want to be on stage, I want to do this. Well, some of them don't have the gift to do that as maybe they gave a Gold City or a, a Ernie Haas yeah. or the Blackwoods. Well, Ron, thank you very much. It's been a real pleasure to have you as a guest on Gospel Music today. Well, and Shelley. And you. where thank we're you. at here at my church, uh, at uh, uh, Community Fellowship Church of the Nazarene, Roger Huff is my pastor, Waco, Texas. And they really made us feel at home. Oh, thank you. All right. Thanks, Ron. Thank you. <laughs>